Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. And here this week in the U.S., we celebrate Thanksgiving. So I want to wish you a very happy and joyous holiday uh, with um, people that you care about. So for this weekly reading, I'm going to choose a couple of cards for awareness, for guidance, and possible outcomes. We will get a sense of, um, you know, what's going on for the week, and then I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just see what we have. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Knave of Swords, or the Page of Swords. And we have the Seven of Cups. So the Ace of Swords is a, you know, a message from the universe right to you. Here's the very powerful and sharp sword. And you can see the sword is piercing the crown. And this is about uh, using your smarts, using your intelligence to make decisions, your reason, your logic, your ability to cut through all the extra uh, information that is bombarding us all day long. For you to get right to the heart of the matter, for you to look for the truth, to see what's really there. And how do you do that? You do that by being informed. You do that by doing your research, um, understanding the complexity of whatever you're dealing with. This is a time when you are called upon to make decisions that are objective and that are wise and that are, you know, straight, straight to the heart. No fluff, no joking around. This this sword is sharp and it's with precision that you act. And so the decisions or the problem solving that you must take for the day. Here we also have the, the page and the nave of swords. It's very clear, which is to be smart, to use your head, to deal with facts and not gossip and um, not want to be information. Deal with what is known of what you see and what you understand from the empirical evidence, if I'm using that word correctly. So with the sword, you know, you can be thinking out of the box. You can be innovative. You could be uh, trying a new approach. And it could be at the office, it could be within a relationship, it could be in many scenarios, it could be in the voting booth for those voting today on November 6th in the U.S. And so the page of swords or the knave of swords here, this cute cat, he looks, his eyes are wide, he's looking over his shoulder, he's got his sword on the ready. It's almost a defensive pose, or it's a pose saying, I'm ready for whatever adversity or obstacles are coming my way. I'm going to use my smarts and what I know about life and my ability to dig deep and to get to the heart of, of the matter. I'm going to use that to help me. Again, help inform me, help to get to the truth. Help to bring clarity to a situation. These two cards focus on strong communication, clear communication, and clarity of thought, clarity of expression. So a lot of firepower here with these swords. And then we have the Seven of Cups. And the bunny is looking up at the sky at all the cups and all the options. And sometimes these options can be overwhelming. Sometimes we can look at it and it can be paralyzing. It can be, you freeze because it's just, where do you begin? When I look at this illustration, it makes me think of going to a carnival and you see all the 
stuffed animals and you're like oh i'd love to win that one or that one or that one it's like wow but if you don't focus on hitting that target i'm probably going to walk away with no stuffed animals so this seven of cups is the fantasy and the uh perhaps the imagination of possibilities of things maybe that you want to happen so there's nothing wrong with visualizing there's nothing wrong with having a great imagination so many wonderful innovations have been born from having the wild thinking or the the thoughts you know space travel you know the the train the locomotive being invented all of these things come from a vision or you know this imagination and the daydreaming aspect but the balance is is not to live in a daydream world not to be carried away by illusion it's to deal with the reality and to appreciate options and choices and then make one and then use the the sharp point of this sword to hone in on that and to get to that uh, the end result that you are seeking so I think it's a charming illustration I think this deck is it's the even though there are forest animals or bunnies and you know cats I think there's such expression within these illustrations that you really get a sense of it, it just conveys so well so Tuesday is a day of is a day of clear thinking straightforward thinking truthful thinking and dealing with facts and evidence let that inform you so let's look at the numbers we have one two and seven it's nine and nine is about nearing completion it's about spirituality it's about idealism in, in many ways and wisdom and to close the reading I'm going to choose an Oracle card and we will see what the affirmation is for the day refuge so look at this illustration of someone walking into this cloudy private hidden place refuges is an interesting word because it it can mean different things to different people so I would always say that when I come home after work my refuge is my home and you know I shut the door and that's it life is great so you know refuge could be uh, the safe place for some who live in troubled times however this means to you it is this here's this unknown in this illustration of walking in to something that you can't see does that mean that you have to trust you have to have the trust that you're going to the right place hmm very interesting so my friends this is what I have for you for the day I hope that you found something helpful here if you did please subscribe like this video share this video comment below I hope that you have a wonderful day I thank you for your time and I will see you again tomorrow take care bye bye